Welcome to Toffee TV. England are into the semi-finals of the World Cup after beating Sweden 2-0 in a quite comfortable game. Um, it was a game that we thought it was going to be in the first opening 25 minutes, 30 minutes or so. It was quite tight. It was quite... Uh, it was just... It was quite bitty. Sweden were just trying to make sure that England didn't have many chances and, and they didn't really. Again, it was all coming from set pieces. There was a few little chances. Harry Kane had one from outside the box. Um, but England took the lead again through a set piece. A Harry Maguire header given England a, the lead. Uh, Sterling really should have made it 2-0 on a couple of occasions. Given too much time to think about it. Um, the second one I thought was absolute criminal just before half-time where really he... Not taking the chance himself, but having players on to, to pass to. Maybe the first chance he missed was playing on his mind and therefore wanted to try and make sure he finished it, knowing the criticism that would have come his way. Uh, and he's he's put it wide, unfortunately. But half-time, 1-0. Um, and you're thinking, England, just hold on. Just hold on for us, you know, try and nick that second one. But it was, it was England who coming under the cosh first. A great header led to an amazing Jordan Pickford save. And once again, he was big, he was strong. He pushed it wide and he saved England from from uh, from it being equalised. And then a couple more times during that second half, he's made really, really good saves to keep England um, ticking over. And then it, it fell to Deli Alley to get that second goal. And again, another header, good crossing and a typical Deli Alley. Uh, Deli Alley header really, a header really that he should have scored against Colombia but put it over but this time he put it in. Uh, Jordan Pickford was called on again again to make a good save, tip on a shot over the bar. So second half made three absolutely incredible saves and again once again showed his standing, his status in this team. He isn't the weak link, he's an absolute amazing part of this England side that goes forward to the semi-finals on Wednesday night to play Russia or Croatia, um, it's there for them, It's for, as far as I'm concerned, it's there for them to take, to get into that final, when they get to the final, listen, they'll be playing, if they get to the final, they'll be playing a top side, whether it be France, whether it be Belgium, of course, Croatia would be a very tough side to beat, and Russia, if they were to get through, having that home support, that momentum, it playing in Moscow, but listen, the country are delighted, the made up England is, is bouncing as a country at the moment. Everyone's happy. It's sunny outside. Everyone, there's a feel good factor, and I'm just delighted for those players and for that manager who took stick. Um, you know, coming coming into the tournament, during the tournament, whether it be league teams, whether it be uh, the decision to play the weaker team against Belgium. You know, all the all these things. Every time one of these things has happened, the press have jumped on it. You know, let's hope. There's going to be harmony now. Let's hope the preparation for this game is going to be absolutely spot on. No yellow cards either. So all all anyone's yellow cards have been have been dismissed now. So no one will miss the semi-finals. There's no excuses. England will play their best side against Croatia against uh, Russia. It's there's no excuses. It's up to England to go on and win that game and get to uh, get into the final. Let's see if they can do it Wednesday. I listen. I really, really hope they do because I really like this group of players. I really like this manager. I really like it when everyone's happy in this country. I do. It's good. It's great. Uh, and I'm really happy for Jordan Pickford because, again, after the penalty save the other night and the, and the save he made, the saves today, I get once again, have uh, cemented his place as the England number one. And, and to tell everyone out there who doubted him, you know, he is, he is absolutely the man. And... He's an Everton player and we should cherish him for that. Anyway, let me let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching Toffee TV. I'll see you later.